Righto, tell you there champs, and when 15 inch is not big enough and you need something bigger, this is where this comes in. The XPS 17, baby. Yes, finally, I have it in-house, and yeah, I'm very excited. You're excited. You've been waiting. Sorry about that. Now, with the XPS 17, in Australia, currently, you can only get the 6-core i7 and the uh, 1650Ti on Dell's website. They haven't changed it yet. Now, I wasn't going to buy that because I do want the 2060 model. I want to test that out for myself. Can't buy it, right? Now, this has been sent to me by Dell. Well, not really Dell. The way things work in Australia is Dell have their own public relations company and that public relations company has sent this out to me. So I have no idea what it is. Well, at least I didn't when I opened it. So let's have a quick look anyway. And yeah, it's like the XPS 15. Of course, you get the power brick 130 watt. We'll see if it actually drains from the back battery or not can't supply enough power i know about that of course you get it in that sexy black box and it just i guess it looks like a big xps 15 16 by 10 one thing i do notice straight away compared to the macbook pro 16 and the xps 15 is it does feel a little bit weightier you can tell the weight compared to those i think it's like 500 grams heavier so i will say it doesn't feel 500 grams worth which is i don't know what's that in pounds nearly a pound i guess it doesn't feel that much like 500 grams heavier but you can certainly feel that it does feel weightier compared to the xps 15 so one thing i know everybody's going to be asking me is about the trackpad well this one's perfect absolutely perfect no play in it whatsoever it's really tight that's how we like them uh, yeah it's really good so i do have a good trackpad now if you don't know these dell xps models here they're basically the macbook pro of windows right maybe microsoft can claim that sort of thing too but they're the best in class the design super sexy the actual laptop is basically the size of its display and the hinge with a small bezel so so cutting edge design with these XPS 17s and 15s. One day your laptop will look like this. But currently only the XPS 15 and 17 look like this. We'll see what Apple bring out this year. So what did they send me? And yes, it's the same as what you can get on the website. I guess that these public relations companies just buy off Dell. And then I don't think Dell send them anything. They just give them a budget to buy laptops. And that's all they can buy too. They did send me the 1650 and the 1750H. Which might disappoint you if you want a 2060 or see what the 20. 60 years but the honest truth is i can do three tests on this laptop and i know how it's going to perform whether it has the 2060 or the 1650 i just see how much power that cpu can take under load i see how much power that gpu can take under load and combine together you know i do all the benchmarks for you guys just so you can see right but if i do those three tests i know how it's going to perform i know the parts off by heart i've you know reviewed so many laptops i know what performance to expect and it all scales relative to the power it can sustain right so if you get two laptops from two different manufacturers and they sustain the same sort of watts on a gpu and cpu you're going to get the same performance. That's just how it is. Other than small variations in performance per watt, etc. So I have thermal tested this straight away. Done the test I need to do. XPS 15, okay. That can sustain 15 watts on the CPU, 50 watts on the GPU. That's how it's power limited currently. It can do more. I think it can do around 80 watts. Because when I was seeing 40 watts CPU, 40 watts GPU, would still like in the 80 degrees area. But currently how it's power limited, after all the boost is over, you're going to have 50 watts on the GPU and 15 watts on the CPU, which equals 65 watts. Now the MacBook Pro 16 can do about 70 to 75 watts sustained so if you're hitting the gpu 100 you'll get about 50 watts and the cpu will go down to about 25 watts so around the sort of 75 watt mark so that is more than the xps 15 although i've said the xps 15 is capable of more that's how it's power limited at the moment now with this xps 17 yes you do get better performance and the temperatures are better as well now one thing is when i hit the gpu and cpu together i was getting 90 watts out of the cpu and the power limit two on that i think is um it's like 130 watts or something but the power limit one is 75 watts so that's what it should go down to and it does it will maintain 75 watts at the end of cinebench that's without the gpu being hit of course but when i ran both together 
when they were both in their boost state, the GPU was using 50 watts and the CPU was using 90 watts. Like what? How is that even possible? It's a 130 watt package. 90 watts plus 50 watts is, you know, around 140 watts. Actually, it was not 95 watts. So it's like 145 watts. It's a 130 watt power brick. What does that mean? Of course, it's going to be draining from the battery at that point. So I will be checking that out in gaming and stuff like that. And even if it had the 2060, it would still use the same sort of amount of power. I mean, they're going to have to power limit it exactly the same. This unit here with the 130 watt brick and the amount of power it can, you know, sustain will be pretty much the same. So obviously if you're draining 140, 145 watts from a 130 watt brick, which by the way, who knows if it even, you know, can supply 130 watts, it might only supply 110. You know, every sort of power supply is different. It might supply more than 130, who knows? But after all that, after all the boosting's over, you're gonna be maintaining 50 watts on the GPU, 35 watts on the CPU, which is pretty good if you ask me. That's about 85 watts. So that's quite a bit more than the XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro 16. And when I spat out Cinebench, it was like 3000 stock, which is good for a six core i7. And it was like 2600 once the GPU was being lit up. So it lost about 400 points there, which is, that's pretty good. Seeing 50 watts on the GPU and 35 watts on the CPU is quite good in such a thin and light package, okay? We're gonna see if it sustains that a long time over gaming. We'll see that, yeah it's probably gonna draw from a battery. So anyway, stay tuned for more. That's my first look at it. Gonna do my gaming review and see how it performs to the XPS 15, given that it has exactly the same parts. How much extra performance do we get just with the power that this has, the more power it can sustain, and also that better cooling we'll actually see. So it's actually good in one way that it's actually the same parts as the XPS 15 I tested. So yeah, stay tuned, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.